cleared this chip. What the hell? Anyways, I take good morning, but it's actually afternoon. So we got 21 miles to our delivery. We're about ready to get out of here. So, uh, enjoy the ride today. We ain't doing much. I ain't got a load this late in the afternoon. I doubt I'm going anywhere. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna go deliver this. And then, uh, probably end up going to Rochelle, probably. So, uh, enjoy. And, uh, we're gonna get out of here. Real soon. I'll oh, put you up here. Until I get another GoPro or another camera, I can do picture in picture. Right now you're just gonna have to see the outside front. I know I need to more video of me, but yeah. Well, we're getting out of here. I can move. If I can move. Let's see what this guy's doing. If I can move, we'll get rid of our broccoli, right? So, uh, we're getting out of here. Getting out of here. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going after here. Nobody's answered me yet. Maybe I'm just a fly on the wall. Who knows? Maybe I am just a fly on the wall. Yeah. Got some day I got four videos up yesterday and I got a new intro finally settled down and a new end of video and all that. I like it all. I'm gonna sweep you off your feet tonight. I wanna love you and hold you tight. I'm gonna start the rat race here. Watch, this guy's gonna pull out on me. Start the rat race. Trying to get out of truck stop. So, uh, yeah. We'll see you down uh, in Belvedere, alright? We're here at AmeriCode. We already got a door. Probably here for a while. Well, there ain't no surprise. Yes, there's 10 trucks over here, so I don't know where we're going. We're all waiting on loads. I'm hoping that guy would have pulled out the time I got flipped around. Blinsky! We all should drive for Blinsky because they're a good company to work for. That's my U turn for the day. That's my U-turn for the day. And uh, I guess we're gonna wait for them to call when they're done with their paperwork. See if I can back up today. I hate to bug Marcia, but I'm going to because I need to know which way to go. Well, uh, we're unloaded. We unloaded.
guess there's 10 trucks around not loaded unloading so uh, yeah we are heading to Rochelle uh, I don't know what my truck wash to do so I don't know if I'm getting truck wash today or not can't remember when I last did it <clears throat> so that is the plan wave to every driver show them you're friendly Well, that's what we're doing. We're heading out of here up to Rochelle. And I probably won't load till tomorrow or the next day. Unfortunately, this is how our slow season goes. It takes a day or two to get the load, but we get there. So, yeah. That's what our plan is. Go back here and catch US 20. We'll head down to 39. And Whip on down to uh, Rochelle. That's the plan. Grab us some dinner. Call it a day. The day is almost over in North Idaho or the Northwest, so we'll find out tomorrow what we're doing. This is all right. Nice mustard and DT. I got a couple canopies in there. One looked like it fit our truck. Uh, not really. Yeah, it would maybe, 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 maybe. It's a question of how to get it home. Yeah, somewhere here, one of our trucks crashed. I don't know where, but looks like everybody's getting off work. Getting out of here might be a challenge. Might be. <clears throat> well, I got a couple more videos to work on tonight. And I'll get them loaded when I get internet somewhere. Yeah, well, one of our trucks crashed somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. <laughs> Jumping gears. But yeah. So, uh, well, uh, well, it does be a short video. We'll just, uh, let you ride with me for a little bit, alright? Let you ride with me for a little bit. Beep. Beep. I don't think my Bluetooth is connected. I don't think. I think right there is where that truck wrecked. I don't know. Right in here somewhere. <clears throat> he said he blew a tire. Who knows what the cause was. Got the Jeep assembly plant up here. <clears throat> Jeep, Jeep, Jeep. Yeah, I should be parking down on Rochelle. I'm probably not in my spot where I'd normally like to be, but hopefully. Hopefully. There will be a spot where I normally park. So, yeah. Here, when the day's getting longer, drivers start driving longer. I'm reading a lot of drivers don't drive at night anymore. So, I don't know. Truck routes. Yeah, they uh, got truck routes around here. Oh, the cops sitting right here earlier. Oh, look, the farm tractor just rolling down the road. Enjoying his drive. Looks all happy and everything. Smiling. Everybody must be getting off work. Yeah, you'll see a bunch of auto carriers, the railroad right here too, because Jeep's right up here. Right ahead of us, we're going to get on the US-20 back, and take the US-20 to the 
39 south to Rochelle. We go from there. That was pretty, it only took about an hour and a half to get unloaded. We were there maybe a couple hours. Uh, not really. We were there about an hour and a half. So, which ain't that long. Yeah, Marsh has got a lot of trucks in the area, so, you know, I'm never in a hurry. It is what it is. Usually if I get held up more than 24 hours, I'll be asking for detention. But normally I don't. Normally I don't get held up that long. Gears. I have a 13 speed, but when I'm empty, I usually jump gears to save fuel. I don't usually use the high side. Don't usually use my high side gear. But you got this truck RPM set at 1600, so sometimes it's hard to jump gears. I really don't need my 13 speed empty. Loading, you do. You can't really jump gears well unless you're going downhill. So, yeah. That would be the cheap assembly plant in Belvedere, Illinois. Right there, on your left. <clears throat> that's where all your new Jeeps get made. My daughter's got a brand new Jeep and that's where it was assembled too. Assembled right there. All decked out enough, but she took my advice and went to ditch my Dodge and got herself a brand new Jeep for about 15 grand, which is not a bad deal at all. She's got a good deal on it, I think. I don't know what her payments are, but probably more than enough. I know our payments ain't cheap either. But nice to have newer rigs. Usually I get rid of rigs at about 200,000 miles and get them traded off or keep them until 200,000. I'd like to get my wife a brand new Dodge Rebel and keep the other one for myself and then get a Mustang for summer use. But uh, yeah, well, I ain't a millionaire, so that ain't gonna happen, right? So yeah, some people don't know how to do a speed limit, can you tell? Half the time they're going faster than me in the speed zone. Yeah, anyways. It is what it is, right? Got a red light up here anyways. Alright, we'll see you down in Rochelle when we get there, alright? Well, that was a pretty easy day, huh? I'm not going to do a cutout video yet for the end of the day until I get the camera turned around on me. Alright. Guess where we are? Rochelle again. I call this our second terminal away from home. <laughs> because normally when you come in here, you see a ton of Belinsky trucks. I had the option, so I get better cell service down here. Even though the other place I could have got another video up for you today. Probably another two or three, but... Oh well, it is what it is, right? I parked parking starting to fill up but look like my spot might be open we'll find out when we get there I guess I better add some brakes huh and uh yeah that is our plan my parking spot is open but all these trucks coming in might just take one away from me so uh yeah Find a gear would be nice. But uh yeah. Today it's just an easy day because there's ten of us over here and it's probably really hard to find a crate for ten. Truck at the same time. I know they sent one to Ro Rochester. 
with his by the way about a couple of 250 300 miles somewhere near but uh this puts me in a good position right here to uh get reloaded she won Belinsky already hopefully nobody takes the parking spot I like so uh hopefully not yeah, there's Belinsky's up the yin yang here. I see one, me counting two. Third one behind me. I don't know if he's heading this way or going up to uh, the J where we were, but. This is where I'm going to be for another day. So, uh. Yeah. Everybody trying to get in at the same time. But anyways. Yeah, Trucker Rudy gave me some tips on how to make better videos. I know I need another camera, would sure help a lot. But, uh. We just got one to work with, so that's the way it's gonna go. There's another Belinsky, looks like Cliff struck right there. And he don't know how to park right. Yeah. Funny Cliff, funny Cliff. We passed him in uh, I think North Dakota is where we last seen him. And uh Yeah. I know, I know. yeah. That's where we last saw Cliff. That was North Dakota. <clears throat> well, I have to ask him, do you know how to park properly? And you don't watch this part. I don't want to get Cliff in trouble. Hey, Big Cliff, you got your radio on in that truck. Cliff, Cliff, Cliff. I'm going to probably give me a BOT. Way up, Cliff. No nap time. It's time to go to work. I got it. I got a lot of shit drive. I'm gonna shortcut through the parking lot here. Cause I have my uh, uh, my spots open where I normally park. Should do shut down on the other pro sport. Oh, it looks like Warner's gonna take it. Yeah, major good just in shoulder. Go figure. See why he did that? It's a good way to pop your tires. I seen him do that on video, he'd be in my office getting his butt chewed out. I got my butt chewed out for it. I can see the point because tires ain't cheap. That is expensive right there. Scuff your tires up. Scuff them up good. All right, I'm gonna go beat on Cliff's truck. I might take the camera with me just to. Yeah, he ain't smoking no more. Must have shut down on him. I might take the camera with me and get him on camera just to piss him off, right? Yeah, no wonder it's one of them pro star internationals. Get my trailer in there, right? Be nice, huh? We had a hard time getting rid of ours when we went to all 680 Kenworths. We had the Max Force in them. Yeah, nobody wanted them. I think they uh, pretty much sent them to the junkyard, probably. Yeah, they're, they're pretty despicable from what I understand. I'm glad I've never owned one. Yeah, we had so many issues with ours with the DPF system. Every time I make a trip out here, I'd have to crawl underneath there and hook the exhaust just to get back. Unhook the filter. I guess our company's suing them over it.
Yeah, I like this ten worth of got pack on motor and had no issue. So uh let's go pick on Cliff here. I actually thought I unloaded the, the, the video and emptied it. Now we're gonna go pick on Cliff. I'm gonna go knock this truck. Then we're gonna get him on camera. Beep, 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 beep. I don't know why he's sitting there for it. Looks like he's sitting in his seat. <laughs> we're gonna get him on camera for once. 